In this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at the Distill Keyfolio. Head on over to packhacker.com for more information on the best buying options, link in the description below. So this is basically a, a simple key organizer. When we first received it, I was really excited about it and intrigued by the concept, but in actual use, it's very clunky to use, if I'm just being honest. So you have um, these kind of magnetic areas here. So two pieces of leather, pretty much. You have the uh, dis distill logo here. And uh, let me try to get that on camera. And uh, if you take this off, you can see that there are two key areas that are magnetic here. So uh, first, I really like this concept because you could just swap keys in and out depending on your use case, things of that nature. But as I learned, when everything's magnetized in here, it kind of just makes me nervous as to why uh, the, if the keys are actually going to stay in here or not. So I kind of experienced that quite a bit. Also, the size, it's a little bit larger than other key organizers we've seen. You know, most are about half, half this width. This does have a flatter profile, um, but it's about as large as the wallet. So this is the wallet from Distill, pretty much the same size. Um, we will be doing a, a quick hit on this one as well if it's not released already. We're digging this one a little bit more than, than the key organizer. So check that out too if you're curious. Um, now, the way that this works is it basically kind of is a clamp here for your keys. And the magnet, again, that just magnets right in. But this, on a couple occasions, I had this sort of fall off in some usage. Um, and there's this little kind of like post here that will go into the hole of the eyelid of the key and uh, keep things nice and organized, but occasionally it'll kind of slip out. So in use and flipping this around. So, uh, you know, basically that'll just pull right out essentially. And if I just push this up and pull this out, let's see here. Well, this one's staying in now, which is great. So this, this is what you want it to do is stay in. So. Um, not really sure how it came out in the other one, but it, it did with, with very little effort. So let me check a different key here, pull that off, and I'll just show you kind of how it works. So you can see that this one um, is already kind of coming, coming out of there as well on that little hole there. So let me pull this out here. I mean, I do love the magnets. If you saw that, it just kind of slapped right in. I like the thought of that. Oftentimes, though, things will get magnetized onto each other as well. So, uh, for instance, this is the um, the jib and key multi tool right here, and that oftentimes will get magnetized directly onto the other side and make it hard to take out. It's going to depend on your keys, uh, but it kind of becomes like a magnetic mess and, and very jumbled on the inside. Uh, so you can see that we just pulled that off there. Autofocus, there we go. We pulled that off there uh, pretty easily. And what this does is it actually clamps inside. Um, that's where the key goes. So it does clamp down. I'm a little wary of that. Um, and that, if that's going to continue to hold up. And then this is kind of just um, come, can come out as well. So you can actually pull this out quite easily. It's not fastened in there, which I guess makes sense. But when your singular key is on this clamp that could pull out, uh, this that could pull out of the clamp, and then uh, the magnet that can pull off of the leather, it just kind of makes me a little nervous that there are so many areas where this could, this could fall off. Um, but again, like love the concept here. I think the execution just needs a little bit more, like would love to take a look at a V2 uh, when it comes out. So you have that, you know how the keys work. And um, the one other thing that I'll show that is actually kind of cool too. So yeah, we covered that it kind of gets magnetic. And there's really no, like, if you pull this out, and just stick that on. In other key organizers we've used, there's usually like a little bit of structure or like you hold onto it. Let me get a key so it just makes even a little more sense. This pulls out and you kind of get a little structure to grab your key. Um, like in the orbit key or the jib and key, you can kind of hold onto the leather and then twist it. Um, however, with this, it's sort of just, you know, kind of, it's not, not ideal, as you can see there on the video. So let me just pull this out. I, I do really like the concept of this. So this is a little add-on module that you're able to add. Um, this can go in their wallets as well, which I think we've reviewed some of the other magnetic system ones. And, um, you know, 
this basically will just unscrew and then allow you to uh, pull that out. So I think that has a nice look to it personally. Um, obviously that's subjective to the person, but uh, the function is still a little bit off because you, you stick this in and it still kind of has the same problems. Although, hey, it's secure here with, this is very secure, um, you know, compared to this, this clip because it screws right in. So this is very secure. You got the magnet to deal with, but then this is securely on just like a, a normal uh, keychain would be. Would be. <clears throat> so there you have it. That was our Distill Union Key Folio. Make sure to head over to packhacker.com for more information. Link in the description below. We'll see you in the next video.